When you detect a pathology in echocardiography, you always want to see it in more than one imaging plane. I would recommend that you start with one BMOD image, then use multiplane imaging, biplane imaging, or X-plane, whatever it is called by the different vendors, and evaluate in two planes, and then go for 3D imaging. So what we have here on the left-hand side is the mid-esophageal long axis view, where you see in a slightly bigger capital letters the right coronary cusp with the pathology, the what they call endocarditis, and the smaller written left coronary cusp where there is no pathological finding. On the right-hand side, we can orient it that the non-coronary cusp, it's also a pathological finding where we see the endocarditis on the NCC, but also on the right coronary cusp. The left coronary cusp seems to be without any kind of lesion. So overall, to repeat, be aware of your anatomy, that you identify the proper, in this case, cusps for the aortic valve, and that you can figure out which cusps are involved in a pathological process. In this case, the NCC and the RCC.